Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina of Gina Renee R and Budgets. You guys already know who I am, what I do, all of that. If you don't know and you want to get to know me better, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Today we are doing our weekly check-in. I am a bi-weekly budgeter and I pay bills and cash stuff based on a two-week period. And what I like to do to hold myself accountable is after the first week, I do a check-in just to see where I am. Have I covered all the bills? Do I have enough left to cover the bills that are due the second week? And do I have any money left in my cash spending wallet? All right. So let's start off in our calendar. So here was payday on the 7th. And so far, I have covered everything. You guys, I was supposed to, I had a sinking fund for my Sam's Club membership renewal. And I made the executive decision to cancel it because I also have Costco. And I felt like it was just basically a waste of money to have two memberships that basically offer the same thing. I've been shopping kind of in both places up until now, and neither one really pulls me in. They're both kind of the same to me. So I decided since my Costco membership is paid up until September, and with my Costco membership, I get like a little rebate for being a first responder or a healthcare worker. So it was actually a cheaper membership. So I canceled my Sam's Club membership and reallocated those funds elsewhere. All right. My plan is to do the same thing with Walmart Plus because I never really utilized Walmart Plus. I used it mostly for my son who was living out of state in Tennessee and it was just more convenient and cheaper for me to have Walmart Plus to get him groceries sent, you know, when he needed it. But it was free with Walmart Plus. So he's now back home. My daughter, who still lives in Tennessee, I don't normally use it for her just every now and then. But she's also moving back here. So we won't have anybody or I won't have any kids out of state. So... I'm also going to cancel that one and reallocate those funds that are in my sinking funds. All right. So that that's two major keys. That's $150 saved right there. So my subscriptions up to here has been paid. Today is actually the 13th, March 13th. I have two things that are due to post today. My Canva subscription and my Chase bank fee. And then I have um, my Dash Pass. I really should cancel that, but I'm going to hold on to it till I travel one more time. And then my iCloud storage for my phone is due on the 15th. I have a credit card payment on the 16th, and that's it for the month. And so I've already looked at my bank account balance because I only keep bill money in there. And I have enough to cover those payments plus a small buffer that I create naturally because I overestimate my bills, all right? So, so far in our budget, I have paid mostly everything, just those few subscriptions that are left and that one credit card payment that's left, all right? And then, so here's our check-in that we're gonna do. I want to show you guys that I've been keeping up with my expenses, tracking my expenses. I have not missed any and I am up to date. So this is my budget kit that I'm going to post for sale. I'm going to do a video that shows how you can put it in your iPad using good notes, or of course you can always just go print it out and I'm going to have maybe 10 physical copies. Don't quote me on that because I don't know. All right, so in my essentials envelope, this is food, Memphis, stuff like that. We have $110 still left. All right, and I have switched over, but I need to update my cash trackers. All right, 
So these are my cash trackers. This is the blush color. They are matte, all right? They're blank on that side because they're reusable, all right? So they're matte, and I did a pen test. I'm gonna show you guys now, but when I do my big launch, I'll do add it to that video as well. Here's my pen test. So I use one of my pens from Black and Blue. Sorry, my nails, I need a fill in. I use my Simple Shops. Let me show you what I used. So I use this pen from Erica, Black and Blue. I use Danny's latest Simple Shops pen. I use this one from Bam Creations. I use this one that Danny told us that works well. And then I use a regular Ink Joy. All right. And I just use the alcohol pad. So let's see. This has been on here a couple days waiting for this video. So maybe it might be a little harder. I don't know because I have never done it, but here we go. All right, so as you can see, when it's there a couple days, the, the pink and the blue, the colors tend to stay on there. The black is pretty much gone. Now, I'm not the alcohol person. Prefer, I prefer to use acetone, like fingernail polish remover. It works a lot better. Let me grab it and we can see the difference. So this is what I like to use. You guys, this is a tester here. So it's only laminated to here. So that's why it looks really weird. This top little, this top little section is not laminated because this is just my tester. So let's see with the acetone. Okay, so consensus is I don't like the color on there see the color it stains the blue and the pink but the blacks all the different pens are gone all right so they are reusable you see it for yourself all right so gas I stuff 50 and 50 so I use the first week and normally I get change back from gas and I just reallocate it to my spending or to my savings challenge or something like that. Spending, got a little money in there. So we got 20, 30 left in spending. So that's good. I could survive off this 30 for the next week. And then miscellaneous, I stuff 50 and I have 20 left, all right? Now keep in mind, when I spend from these envelopes, if I get fives or ones, I add them to my challenges, all right? So that's why everything looks so even in here is because I've already gone through. I do it every day so I don't tempt myself to spend those and I do them every day. So I think we're good. For the next week now i did want to give you guys a sneak peek so here's my trackers the ones you just saw let me move these these i gotta finish doing so they are come into a package of six all right so i have pink i have purple i have mint and i have vellum I also have blue and yellow, all right? So I got a bunch ready to ship. I'm gonna have more, all right? And then I also made them for the A6s. So let me move this extra out the way. A6s look exactly the same. They're all matte, all right? Matte finish and they feel like butter, I love them. So here's your A6. I'll hold it up closer so you can see the categories because I like to write what my, where I'm spending the money, all right? So for these, I also have the same colors. I have pink, I have purple, I have mint, I have blue, and I have yellow, all right? So that's what I'm gonna launch this Friday so far. And then I have a new challenge. It's called Coffee with my Nomi. 
All right. So there's all different coffees and you determine how much you want to save for each coffee and you would just fill in the little circle denoting that you have stuffed for that one. And then there's four little cookies and you also save for the cookies. All right. So you would determine, you can determine a different amount for the cookies if you wanted to. So this is a matte finish. Not all my savings challenges are matte finish but they're clear back. The color is beautiful. I love the pink in here, and this will be available Friday. So be on the lookout. I'm gonna do another video, and I have a couple more that I'm gonna add with this one, but this is my main one, and I'm gonna start this on Friday. All right, so you guys, that's all I have for now. Leave me a comment down below if you want me to maybe try doing other colors for the trackers or your comments, your feedback, and then the, the budget planner. Would you guys be interested in physical or digital, or is it a good idea for me to have both? Um, I like having it in good notes, but I'm also a paper and pen girl. Let me show you guys the rest. So this is basically the cover. And then this is my monthly bill tracker. This is my subscription tracker. This is my monthly calendar, but you guys will get a different one. You guys will get a regular blank calendar because it's going to be completely undated. Then this is the main paycheck breakdown because what makes mine different is I like to put all my paydays on one because I'm a bi-weekly budgeter and I use the split bill method. And so it just helps me to see what I need from each pay period from each paycheck. All right. I hope that makes sense. Then here's the, I call it an off week check-in. That means the week that I don't get paid, I check in. All right. So I always have three pay periods because I want, don't want you to have to adjust if you have a magic month. All right. Then I include a cash breakdown and you would just duplicate it in good notes. I'll show you all of that. So you don't have to get a whole bunch of sheets. Of course, here's my expense tracker. And I'll give myself like four of those. And finally, my sinking funds tracker to keep up with my sinking funds. So I counted at the end of February. I put my starting balances here. And for March, I'll count again. And then I have the same thing for my savings challenges. All right. So let me know your thoughts. And as always, I wish you guys peace, love, and prosperity. Bye for now, guys.